Go to work, go to work, go to work. You got to love it. Welcome once again to the Made in Compton podcast. You got to love it. And thank you for sharing the show in advance as well. Welcome to the show, the one and only owner of the store, and we call you Bone. How are you? I'm good. That's great. That's great. It's always nice. You know, we've been having some great weather, and I know you got a song that talk about the weather and the cheddar on a, one of those CDs in your store, and that's track 17. Let me let you know. <laughs> Absolutely. So I wanted to know today, first of all, thank you again for even, you know, doing the podcast, and because I know it's like uh, introspective when you're interviewed constantly. So I have this question. Now, you've told us quite a bit of information about why you created this and why you did this and so forth, but I want to go back to when you were selling t-shirts on the corners and out of your van, and then you made that connection you said you wanted to dress a mannequin you need to and get an address what what actually happened because i know a lot has to transpire from going from selling t-shirts on the corner to having a store address uh well i just worked on dressing the mannequin and then uh fundraising Mm. The fundraising. And now what type of fundraising did you do? So so more shirts. <laughs> oh yeah, that reminds me. That's a good one too. Absolutely. You're doing a sale for this coming Saturday, which is April fifteenth, twenty twenty three, for the family and community event that's being held there in the parking lot. And I want to say that those are small. Make sure Everybody knows those are small t-shirts that are on sale for only $15. Absolutely. So thank you for that. And I want to share, uh, have you ever thought about doing those other fundraisers? Like I know you do a lot of business with schools. Um, They have this Jamba Juice cards and so forth. Have you thought about doing things of that nature? Uh, Yeah, we've been rolling around some ideas. Well, we've been trying to figure out something that's going to really be effective mm-hmm. and really help the customers out too. Absolutely, absolutely. So yeah, that's good. So that that's one of those things where we are promoting. Uh, you have youth and sports, and they have you know healthy drinks is really good too. So that's good. Good to know. And if there was something else that I could come up with, <laughs> I'm going to definitely email you. And at the same time, there is this thing called the boxes that you put around the microphones. And you have a design. And it's like, where did you come up with the design? Or did you have that created for the microphones that... I've been able to use to interview students or uh, shall I say the youth that are in sports. Yeah, we had came because we was going to do a, like a podcast in the back of the store. Mm-hmm. We was going to call it Channel 12 News. Okay, okay, okay. Nice, nice. So that's pretty neat. So now you're doing podcasts on MICPT podcast. So yes, if I would have known that, I would have put that on there. But maybe uh, we can come up with, we were talking about doing different skits and so forth. And so maybe uh-huh. we can come up with with us, utilizing what you were creating. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. Very nice. And so you've been thinking about a lot of different uh, fundraisers and so forth. And is there one in particular that you want to share uh, right now? Uh, yeah, the one we got coming up uh, next Saturday. Okay, absolutely, absolutely. And we is also going to have uh, the fifteen dollars shirts, and we're going to do the the tax. We're going they give us the tax. We put in them in a raffle. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. And that's cool. And what are they going to get? What did you decide that they're going to get for that raffle, for the raffle this coming Saturday? Uh, Another T-shirt. Okay, absolutely. 
And so that's pretty cool. So everybody that purchases, oh, yeah, that's right. You did tell me about that. A $2 raffle ticket, they get into the raffle for a T-shirt. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's been a wonderful day. You know, we, <laughs> this is Saturday, and we are we're doing podcasts on the weekend, and we're hoping that more people will share the podcast, and then we'll get more traction on the chats and then so if there's other people that have questions as <laughs> you see that I have made uh various questions because I know it's so many people that want to see more things happening for is our youth and one of the things is like wow how monumental is that to uh, grow up and have your own business we see we've seen so many different shows when we were younger as well and now to be a part of Made in Compton store, which we know there's a plethora of people that are from out of country, out of the country, that have came to your store because of the hood tour, and they have so many different stories, and you can look online, and I've been looking like, wow, yeah, you just type in Made in Compton store, and you see so much, absolutely, so, I mean, you didn't have social media, back when you started did you or what what was going on yeah we did but we just started utilizing it a little more okay what kind of social media was out when you started because you've been in business a long time what kind of social media did you have uh instagram was out Oh, it was? Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I was just the one that really didn't know about it. Absolutely. That is too funny. I got you. And then with that in mind, there is this thing about um, going to different places and, you know, wearing content attire. And you the last show, one of the last shows, you were sharing about how you went to Disneyland and you got a chance to see other people in your attire. Now, do you have another story you can share with us that's pretty cool about people wearing your attire or uh, something, you know, an entity or business or something about wearing your designs? Uh, yeah, we used to have a thing where well, if we was in the promotional van and we see you, we a hunk. And it was it started being where it was like we was blowing all over the place. Oh wow, that was nice. How cool is that? Amen, amen, amen. That's pretty cool. So that's neat. And then with that in mind, now we're talking about uh, also that you have music. You have so many CDs and so forth. I mean, how did you create that much merch? You know, of your CDs. Oh, we used to live in the studio. It was like a daily thing. Oh, okay, okay. At one point, we had the store in the studio, and we used to close the store and go straight to the studio. Oh, okay, I see. Wow, that's putting in some work right there. <laughs> what, two jobs in one place, huh? Man. <laughs> oh, my goodness, I got you. I love it. That's yeah. That's a lot. That's a lot going on. And is there something else you were thinking about that that you want to roll out? Oh yeah, we're working on an independent film that should be released this summer. Okay. Okay. Absolutely. Yes. Indeed. That's that's beautiful. I know that. Oh, I was thinking about the billboard when we we were talking about that on the last show and. I said, yeah, we have to find out. I did look on that billboard, and I didn't see a number on the front side. I do have to look on the back side. But when I look up there, I'm like, the store is already open. So I have to uh, go <laughs> look at it before the store opens tomorrow because I'm so excited. Oh, my goodness. Somebody that hears the show today, please share the show. And know that tomorrow is Easter when you hear this show that's recorded on April 8th of 2023. And there is this thing I've been sharing on, on uh, I shared today on my Facebook about you want to have comforting clothes after you peel off those hot 
Easter suits and those <laughs> those high heels and so forth, you know, because we already know it's still stereotypical. People get dressed up and go to church on Easter as well as some other holidays. But it does feel comforting when you can jump into some comforting clothes. And a pro style is something that's really really comforting and it's not just because i'm wearing it and i'm rubbing on my (laughs) shoulder right now and everything the sleeves is feeling so good but it's really the top of the line t-shirt right yeah and they always talk about the thread count and so can you speak to the quality of the t-shirts and the brand because I know that there was another customer, even another day, that was so uh, intrigued by, oh, wait a minute, I want a t-shirt that feels like, this. oh, this one, oh, this, this one feels, this is the same. Oh, they're all the same. Yes, absolutely. So if you could speak to that. Oh, yeah, it's a 100% cotton tee. And uh, most of them are Pro 5. Okay, Absolutely. So then we got uh, some that's uh, cotton mixed with uh, polyester. That's the lady styles, the V-necks, and they, you know, for the elasticity. Oh. So it's form fitting. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nice, nice. So that's what it is. The form fitting portion that makes you makes me feel all snug and and it feels really soft. I got it. Okay, very neat. Because I was sharing before, on another show that the straight out of Compton t shirts, I know that they're in a V form and then you have a crew neck and there is, you know, there's a difference. That's why some people are like, oh, you know, I I like this one. But at the same time, it's just like, look. <laughs> they, <laughs> right, exactly. This is one style and this is another style. But definitely, they both feel great. And I see now why there's the, you know, it's the femininity of it at all as well too so thank you for that and again like you said you listen to the customers and so forth so that's beautiful absolutely so now i want to go forward to sharing this about the events that you have at the store i know that there's another one about financial literacy so can you speak to why do you you know consider that as you know important part of being a youth in sports cause uh, a causal for your store to implement financial literacy yeah because as you can tell we're going to go into some hard times mm-hmm. so right now it's like you got to either be prepared or you get left out mm-hmm. so it's got to be a little more uh, smarter the way you spend your money and the way you make your money absolutely and that was well said and that's something to chew on right there for sure so until the next time we are going to say thank you once again for this opportunity to showcase information background from the maiden Compton store i think this is a rare situation to have a podcast for a store and definitely is online and it's also and it has a physical address and that's 906 south willowbrook avenue that is unit b in the city of compton yes indeed that's california 90021 and you can definitely go on micpt.com and order online anytime and by chance if you had any few uh you know cozy words would you like to share there bone yeah, I just like to say thanks for the support and uh, keep coming. Amen and amen. That part right there. Thank you once again. Have a wonderful day. Absolutely, go away.